boom, boom. I forgot on what episode this is. I'm just going to quickly check. Damn. How can I already forget? Well, it has been a little of a while. The last time I recorded a Guardians of the Galaxy video. This is episode 7. Episode a bloody 7. Uh, give me a second. I'm struggling here. Episode 7. Right. Episode 7. Episode 7. Episode 7. Oh yeah, Nova Corp went crazy mode, didn't they? I'm gonna watch. We're gonna see what I'm going there. Finally! Watch my flarkin' back while I deal with this door. You sure you can get it open? You gonna second guess me every step of the way? I'm not! There, let's go. I'm just be shouting at each other, dude. Guessing, I'm just sure. Guardians of the Bloody Galaxy! What happened there? Invaders. None must escape. How did the all-knowing world mind not foresee this event? What would make Nova turn on Nova? Perhaps they were not acting of their own free will. Uh, they sure looked like they knew what they were doing. Let's go. To me. All right. Yeah, here we come. What the flark was that docking number? R73-4 PL. Are you serious? Always. You're my new favorite person, Muscles. No, not really. There she is. Come to Papa. Four Our ship. PL done. All right. Bay is clear. Extending catwalks. And. Flark. What's up? The clamps won't release. Those whack jobs must have triggered a lockdown. Can you override it? Wouldn't be much of a lockdown if I could. I can hold her in position and get the engines warmed up. But you're going to have to release those clamps manually. All right. Release the clamps and don't die. All faithful, converge on the central hangar. Let us None can escape her right. life. Focus on the clamps, Peter. We'll try to keep them off to you. Are you making progress? Slowly but surely looks like... How exactly do we release these things? What am I, a user's manual? Fix the locking thing. Fix that cuckoo Nova Corman's claw. Way to knock No, 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 I'm doing a little huddle up now. Right. Why'd you call us in, Peter? I, for one, am doing great out there. As am I, assassin. So perhaps he wants you out of my way. Or maybe he wants you to sit back and watch so you can learn from a pro. Don't be afraid, we are more powerful. It's not about fighting alone, we need to be a unit. Each other's backs out there. No one's winning this on their own. Precisely. But if we stay united and centered, there will be no turning back. Who's with me? Can't wait to take him down. Okay, shoot the clamps. I can do this. Do you need a rousing speech? How exactly do we release these things? What am I, a user's manual? Just shoot the fucking thing! I say you, you've been a naughty boy. I'm still showing plenty of lost plans. Working on it! Those plans are full of rules and iridium, but they should be weak at the joint. Where's my 
my tubes! I got your Scotty Terror music! We've got more incoming! Try to keep them from swarming! They are not insects! Am I getting the damage? Oh, 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 Bro, could you... Stop. Oh my god! You stupid Nova car! <laughs> he got flogged! Oh, I have to do this again! Bloody hell. Alright, release the clamps and don't die! One down! Sir, I realize that you have not renewed your carry shot again. I need healings. They're making us look like amateurs out there. Nothing's getting through. It does feel suspiciously like an unproven warrior's first fight. And if it continues this way, bloody? it's gonna be our last. Whoa, dudes! The things you say are totally out of tune with what I see out there. Group, group, that's it. Right? So let's kickstart this party to the united sound of our blistering guardian attacks. Squid. Do this serious thing, Peter! Bloody hell. Oh my god. That got proven harder than it was. Now what? We should set course for Contraxia. They bear our issues over a cold I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? The abomination is never happy. Abomination? Rocket's got a point, though. Our cons are flarked, the tracker's still counting down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. It's not looking good. It's not looking good at Rev's between hard rocks. You mean a rock in a hard place? That is what I said. Helen knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Me and Cosmo go way back. 
He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Ooh. Maybe talk to Rocket. Okay, okay. I'll check out his wild landing with Rocket. You get me? Peter Quill, what does killing two birds with one stone signify? It means solving two problems with a single solution. Ha! I knew it! There are no birds on nowhere. Depends if she are count. Saw a few of them last time. Let's move on to something else already. Sir, I need to speak with you. Don't know what's speaking your room. Hey, uh, guys? What's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just, uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What What's we do on? ain't none of your business. Oh, nice. Can't we just talk about it? Can we just talk about it? Talking ain't worth scut if you don't put your money where your mouth is. Things are gonna get better, I promise. We'll fix it. Just like you promised before Seknarf? Come on, Rocket. What? You gonna tell me I'm a valued member of your crew again? Leave us alone, Quill. Uh, Rocket? Flark off, Quill! Okay, then. Startled. I need to clear my mind. This book is not helping. If you need a recommendation, I just finished the World Mind's post-mortem on ineffective planetary-scale battle tactics of the Galactic War. What the fuck is she on about? Uh, I'm sorry, Drax. I thought paying her fine would make things better, but it just made things more complicated. Do not apologize, Peter Quill. Our encounter with Novacor has given me clarity of purpose. We must investigate and fight whoa, this- Whoa, whoa there, Drax. We ain't fighting Novacor if we can help it. We'll just let Cosmo handle this. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Novacor officers. And those robed priests, it was all very disturbing. So those coordinates? They're in your console. Got it. Nowhere, here we come. Come on, nowhere. Are the other two blame? Put jets on Oh yeah. Uh, nowhere. nowhere. Last space port on the edge of the known universe and home to the best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wonder what kind of person found it was like, oh look, the severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare, very valuable. The marketplace came after, along with noodles. I want some noodles. You were certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course, he's chief of security. <laughs> and nowhere. And as such, probably deals in Novacore all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. What's going on? See you never, flark bags! A rocket and Groot, did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. Try to behave while we're gone, okay? All right, Lama. Maybe when we get back, I'll ask Groot to give you a bath. At least you're still here. I wouldn't want to miss your meeting with Cosmo. 
Guess you were right. Turns out we couldn't trust those guys. I still have faith that the tree will bring the rodent to reason. But? Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. We had dealings with this Cosmo murderess. We've circled back to that name, have we? It's a statement of fact. You are by trade an assassin. And you're a convicted serial killer. Your hands aren't exactly. I washed them before leaving the ship. What about Rocket and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? The apology does not need to be sincere. I guess if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway. Once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We have not yet spent our ill-gotten gains. We could still pay the fine. But we'd have to go all the way to New Xandar to do it. What if we get there and it's compromised too? Hey there! I need to talk to Cosmo. He in his tower? Okay. Show me the way. This is becoming a bit too much. Rocket's doing his own thing. I guess I kind of I'm going to see the Cosmo guy. How exactly Nova's uh, deluded. Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? I don't know. Nope, he met right here. Back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave. It befits them. Anyway, Cosmo sniffed out a scheme me and Yondu had cooking. He threatened to throw the both of us in jail. I've heard he keeps things on a pretty tight leash. <laughs> he does. But it turns out we're both from Earth, so he gave me a second chance. Keep an eye on your things. These goops are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. No one could predict what Thanos would do. Mad Titan will pay for everything that he is. <laughs> Nexus, what are you? Do you still have those suicidal urges? What? No? Suicidal urges? And you thought joining a team would be bad for you. Hi. Sunlord, right? Is it Rockstar? It's Star Lord. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do the thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Not even... Hi, I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. It's not... Oh. 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 No, he's lying! I mean... Oh. By the quotations he wrote, the broken promise of all will be mended. What is going on? Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah. Uh, Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. 
<laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah, okay. If you're gonna keep making that face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Me, me, me. Star guy. Me, me. Okay, bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You're being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? That's the nicest thing you've ever called me. Anyone ever tell you you're an open book? Hardcover? Don't you start our book. I just meant Mantis mentioned a few things. Mantis says a lot of things. They don't always make sense. Until they do. That insect woman was odd. I understand your reluctance to discuss her. Mantis is strange, but she means well. <clears throat> I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. Who's that? Drax! Watch it, Star Lord! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! Can you believe that? What's going on? Uh, where is Gamora? Let's go talk to Cosmo alone. I'd hate to win and then not show up on time to claim the prize. I'll pass. Make sure you don't cause any trouble. You won't get any special treatment, Terran. You're wrong about that. Me and Cosmo understand each other. Lucky traveler, have arrived at the Illustria Symporium, private collection of Tanalir Tivan, the premier, premier, premier exhibit of wonders in the galaxy. Most would hoard these treasures, but not Mr. Tivan. He is so, so, so generous. He wishes to share them with the common people. Would you, you, you like to take Can I go on with the game? The food, the ticket, no, I don't even thanks. know what I'm doing. I've seen enough strange things over the last few seconds. I should, to be oh, fair. you have, have you? Well, then, have yourself a fine, fine, fine day. What is that thing? Where is this Cosmo done? Chance of winning, is it? 
Bro, I need to stop the doing all this crap. Captain, the good Bolshevik cleaned up the boardwalk. No grip, no grab, no cheats, no cons, no sir. So I can win. How about this, Captain? We play a friendly low stakes game just to prove that I'm on the underdog. What do you say, Captain? What do you say? Thanks. Save it for a sucker on his honeymoon. Sucker, honey, why I oughta suck you in the kisser, Captain? Scram! You must have a good nose. All I can smell is the brains. Drax, bud. Is everything all right? You believe that this is the edge of the universe, Peter Quill? Well, yeah, because it is. So, uh, this is the thing you had to do? Come to the observation deck to look at the rift? No. I came to honor the memory of my family. They died without meaning. Or honor. I think I know what you mean, man. My mom won the, uh, Shatara game. She also died for no reason. Sad times, sad times. Just shot her. But at least she's in a better place now. Right? In Katathian religion, we believe that in order to reach Umtaf, one must lead a life filled with purpose. Failure to do so results in banishment to Sarduth. Our families have been cast out of paradise, Peter Quill, and into nothing. That's why you come up here. Yes. To feel close to them. Speak to them. That's what I got on with the game. I'm not gonna lie to you. No, no. Not at all. I didn't want to stop this thing. You know, on Earth, a lot of people think that good people go to heaven and are reunited with Ooh. their loved ones when they die. This heaven sounds pleasant. Yeah, it does. Thinking of her there, my mom, in heaven. Got me halfway through the war. That and my hate for the Shatari who imprisoned me. Ah, uh, you desired revenge. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. When Thanos murdered my family, for a long time I believed that their wasted lives would be redeemed if I took revenge on him. <laughs> but, the, but you did kill him. Oh wait. Propaganda, Peter. If you do not, I hope your mother found. You know, that was a sad story. Thank you very much. See you later. Bye bye. Interesting. Add. So 
how do I get up there? I think that's that. Oh, it's to there. Yeah. I hope Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sisu. Nowhere security. Super official. Go other way. Ali, Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo, nothing tower. Get out there, Star Lord. In Ali. Wait. How did you know my name? Go. Or end up in Cosmo prison. You choose. Pew, pew. I should really shoot you. Dangerous, Ali. Oh, I see some parts. I do not trust this one bit. Cosmo, you in here? Cosmo. Is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay, just gotta find Cosmo, then I can deal with the team if I can find them. Mazes, especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude, deep breath. Deep breath. Who's there? been settled. That's not good. Look at what we got here. Watch it, Star-Lord. And what's a filthy scut stain Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for evil. Uh, if 
if you're into that. We might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Karen. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? Uh, I heard nowhere. Mm. Well, maybe it says Star-Lord. Either way. Get him! What the heck is this? We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, uh, lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one the lady wanted. So hurry up and die. Wait, the lady ain't want him alive? Dang. <laughs> uh, uh, Lady H, whatever Lady Hellbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice. You don't cross Lady H. Uh, uh, triple. Uh, uh, I'll triple it. Yeah, now, nah, Rose. <laughs> Guys, this is a big misunderstanding. Get over here so we can collect the pound. What the hell am I supposed to do? Don't we know each other? That one job on the trash to me. Lady H said you feel faint. Get crushed, Terry. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. Woo! Heart. He's pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks. But we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. Peter, shoot now! We need to keep them separated! Draw them apart before shooting, Peter! Heads up! The armor comes out whenever they're close!
coming. What is going on? Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth. And then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. What is going on? Of course you would remember that. And then I ask you if you pack your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Not so oh, fast. Oh, so annoying. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. 20 bucks? 20 bucks. Don't push it. Pushing the envelope. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. Let me see. And we can open it together. You know what? I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Come back to it.